Welcome to Cortex Engineering Software Learning Blog. In this video, we're going to look at how we can create band pipe. So first, to create a band pipe, we need to define an arc. So here, I'm going to draw an arc using AutoCAD command. Um, if you ha already have an existing arc, you can also use that. So I want to route a pipe along that arc. So I need to first define the spec and size. Then I type a command called band. Now I can also create a trimmed elbow, but in this case I'm going to select arc. And as soon as I select arc, it will route a pipe from one end to another end. So here it is. So if I double click on it um, and look at the properties for that component here. So it is uh, band pipe. So let's look at how it will look like when, when we create isometric. So I'm going to select only one component here and see how it's going to look like. Now, this is not something that we would like to achieve, but um, so how do, how do we fix this? So how do we have an ISO that makes really sense? So uh, for that, first we need to go into the isometric style and make some changes in the ISO gen styles. So, Let's close this one for now and let me go into isometric there. So this is isogen style here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the dimension sections, piping components and features. And here I have a section for curved pipe. Now, as you can see here on the right hand side, it gives us a live preview or dynamic preview. So as soon as I change something here, it will reflect that change in the Preview as well. So um, I have defined threshold um, because that defines the minimum radius at which bands are output. Um, so here I have angle, which is 90 degree, and whatever the, the distance it is. So this is just an example given in the preview. Um, but if I want to have um, rather than having the plain text, I want to have a dimension with the angle on it, I can also do that. And uh, as you can see that it shows 90 degree with the dimension lines. Now the next thing I want to do is um, just want to leave like this one here for all of them um, with the dimensions. Okay, so now let's create um, another isometric with this updated isogen style. So, but before we do that, the last thing we need to do is we need to go into the isogen settings here. Now we need to use a different S key called uh, PBBW. Now this S key um, will allow us to create a nice looking isometric S keys. So I'm just going to select that same pipe again. And um, at this time, um, we can have an ISO which makes real sense. So here we have a nice looking arc with the dimension. So we have two Joint or one joint here between the two pieces of pipes here. Um, one showing an angle with the distance, um, the other the same. Um, or we also have the coordinate points for the each of the connection points. So this is how we can create band pipe and create isometric. Thanks for watching the video.